so small. Ladies and gentlemen, here's your host, Samantha B. dinner de plain immediately. We are so thrilled to be here at beautiful Constitution Hall, owned by the Daughters of the American Revolution, also known as the Executive Vice Presidents of the American Revolution, the Assistants to the President of the American Revolution, and the Envoys to Germany of the American Revolution. We came here to Washington, D.C. to celebrate the free press. There are hundreds of journalists here, from the failing New York Times to the failing pile of garbage BuzzFeed to the failing what the fuck is ProPublica, it sounds Mexican. <laughs> We've got 2,500 of our nearest and dearest fans, probably, yes. Russian ambassador is here. He turns up everywhere. We want you all to have a great time. I know it looks like we have a cash bar tonight, but as I promised you in the invitation at a later date, I will get Mexico to pay for all your drinks. <laughs> and you are all going to want to make friends with our honored guests here at the front tables. They are the Committee to Protect Journalists. you call if you leave the hall tonight and discover your car has been keyed by Sean Spicer. <laughs> oh, buddy, why'd you sign it? All proceeds from tonight's event benefit CPJ's work. If you're enjoying the dinner from home, first of all, I hope you're wearing black tie. Have some respect for me. Second, you can make a donation by texting CPJ to 40649, because without a free press, we wouldn't have a functioning democracy or anything to post on social media with our own trenchant commentary that shows everyone we're on the right side of history. And we have a special guest joining us later in the show right over there. So all you cable news producers in the audience, you'll want to turn your chairs that way and just stare at that podium for the rest of the show. <laughs> Do not look away no matter what else is happening or what a woman might be doing over here. If I give an economic policy speech or detail my 100-day plan, just plug your ears and keep your eyes glued to that empty, waiting podium. Maybe talk to each other about what you think might happen there later. That'd be fun <laughs> and a super good use of your time. Pretend I'm not even here. Now listen, as much as I might love poking fun at the media, and as much as you all kind of deserve it sometimes, I know your job has never been harder. POTUS has convinced 88% of his fans that you're an enemy of the people. You basically get paid to stand in a cage while a geriatric orangutan and his pet mob scream at you. It's like a reverse zoo. <laughs> but you carry on. You dig up misdeeds and fraud by the powerful. You expose injustice against the weak. And you continue to fact check the president as if he might someday get embarrassed. <laughs> so tonight. Tonight is for you. Tonight, the president screams at a pen that Katie Turr is not in. 
Cheers.